can't see out the sides while you're driving. This gives you a little bit more uh, situational awareness. For all those times when people tell you, just throw your shit away, and you're like, no, 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 as soon as I throw it away, I'm going to need it. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> thousand percent. That's why I have buckets of stuff. I got a whole tote up there dedicated to electrical and random hoses and tubes because I keep everything. For instance, it's just like this. I don't have to run to the parts store and buy a piece of hose because I got one. Do I remember what this came off? I got no fucking clue, <clears throat> but it's perfect. It's already curved, so as I slip it in that way, it's gonna curve down and allow my wires to come at a downward angle um, on the interior of the car, and uh, straight out this way, and it's gonna be perfect. All right, y'all, found a spot that I'm pretty happy with. Right down in here. Hopefully you can see that. But, <clears throat> got a small like 3 16 bit, something like that, and uh, gonna punch a hole through this firewall, so see where that ends up, and uh, make it bigger from there if it's in a good spot. pushing on insulation there so trick is shove this in there and then we'll go look for it on the other side Alright, I think now that's worked up to a, uh, is there a 916 or Nope, 5 eighths. That should be good enough. I don't, I don't want to go hog wild with it. But, uh, man, I might not have been able to see shit. That's what we're looking like. So in reference, that's the uh, positive terminal that goes through the body. It's like an insulated terminal. And that's where we are. Jeez. Orchestrate a light camera. Move wires out of the way. Alright. That's just kind of in reference where we're at. So now I'm going to go inside clear out all that insulation and junk that's in there and uh, get it somewhat cleaned up to where I can uh, put a piece of tubing through there. Um, the idea I was talking about before, um, using the tubing and slicing it down the middle, um, I think I'm going to ixnay that. I think what I'm going to do is use a piece of tubing, um, be it vacuum line, whatever. <clears throat> and actually just push it straight through there. Um, that way I've got a pass-through um, that's reliable for today and uh, in the future. So uh, the firewall is just kind of too thick. Um, the hole's not big enough. I don't want to waller it out any more than it needs to be. So I'm going to find a piece of old tubing, um, vacuum line, something, you know, like this stuff just sitting around. Uh, cooling line, whatever, anything that keeps the wires from uh, getting cut on the uh, on the on the metal there and shorten out. Yeah, well, that'll be that. See you all in a minute. Can't let y'all miss the money shot. So this sucker went 
right through there. Oh geez, there it is. So I'm a little piece of tape, a little hole. Now we have a nice way through the bulkhead. Well, I did this before when y'all weren't watching. It worked out just fine. Now we got stage fright or something. Check that out. It's pretty clean. I like it. I'm gonna go take a look on the uh, on the inside, see what it looks like. Might toss some uh, glue, some sealant around this. Not so much for weatherproofing, but just to keep it from falling back through, which it's pretty tight in there. But overkill is, yeah, overkill's good. There we go, so an easy way to pass through uh, wiring from the interior to the engine bay without having uh, any kind of electrical mess. It's nice and insulated. <sighs> now we can move on. So problem three, four, five, whichever one we're on now. Uh, we just got the uh, pass through done for the small 14 gauge wires. Uh, and what I couldn't find underneath the dash anywhere was a good dedicated ground. Uh, I've got dedicated power uh, that's located in the fuse box in the uh, the side panel footwell. Um, that's that's perfect. That's fine. That's got a big eight gauge wire uh, running straight from the battery. Um, that's factory. Uh, what I don't have is a dedicated ground. Um, if you look on the firewall up here on the uh, I guess that's the uh, the cowl. See a nice big dedicated ground there, one over there, one over there, one over there. Tons of them located here under the hood. They didn't really leave much on the interior. And without goofballing it up, um, cutting through the carpet again, like you guys know I do for, uh, what did I do that for? The, uh, the transmission, for the <laughs> transmission wire and cut that little window in the carpet. Well trying to do things right this time. So what I'm gonna do is a dedicated ground. So what that means, find the camera on this guy, is almost exactly what you see uh, happening here, except with a bolt sticking out like that. What I'm gonna do is drill a hole right next to the one I've got for the uh, the 14 gauge wires come through. I'm going to drill a hole right next to it. And this bolt, right here, this little guy, spare parts bin, is going to go through the firewall, <clears throat> get tightened up with this nut, and then all the, uh, the grounds can go straight on it and be tightened down with that nut. So it's always nice keeping spare parts, and I'm not going to rely on the, uh, the body for ground either. Cause that would kind of suck more spare parts had this uh, piece of wiring that I made for some sort of ground probably an amp ground or something years ago had that stuck in the electrical drawer gonna use that to go it's almost perfect length going from uh, this dedicated ground down to yeah so that'll be good so we've got a uh, ground coming straight from the battery so it's like hooking directly to the battery without making a mess on the battery terminals again. So again, this is an effort to do it right and make it look good at the same time. Not rushing it, taking my time. It's a nice easy Sunday. Really got nothing better to do. So gonna have to take a break here soon and uh, go play RC cars with the kiddo. So keep him entertained. But uh, that's where we're at for that. Stay tuned for the results here. Yeah. Uh -huh.